So if you watched my last video, you know we're able to build the application that's gonna go on the Bronco locally on my computer. We're able to upload it to my local Raspberry Pi. But at some point, I'd like to have a centralized place where this thing can build. So if I were working with other people, and they change code and I change code and have a centralized place where the code can be and then it would build and then we both know you know there'd be a single source of truth and then that single source of truth could be distributed in some way to uh, not only the application for my single Bronco but if I had a bunch of Broncos and I, I wanted it all to be distributed to it then it could be done that way so that's the first part where there's a centralized point that's called integration an integration point and if we're doing it all the time it's continuous, so it's continuous integration. And then the distribution part where, you know, we're set, <coughs> sending the code out to these uh, many Broncos. Let's say we want to do that all the time and just make it iterative and easy. That's continuous integration and continuous delivery. So we're gonna talk about continuous integration here for a second. So there's many tools to do continuous integration. I personally love uh, Azure DevOps, rest in peace, Visual Studio Team Services, rest in peace, uh, Team Foundation Services, uh, what else was it called? Anyway, so Azure DevOps, which is the new name for something that's been renamed a few times, is really great. I love that tool. But uh, for this, because it's sort of like a mobile application where it has issues, you know, IoT devices have issues with connectivity, they have issues with not being on all the time, just like mobile devices. Think about it. You turn your phone off, you turn your phone back on, and it automatically updates. Well, that sort of thing we, is, is happening with Internet of Things devices too. So I wanna be able to leverage something that is going to be able to do that for me. And the Microsoft Store is an excellent way to make that happen. They've already thought about all those problems, so I don't have to reinvent the wheel. And the way to deploy to mobile stores like the Microsoft Store, uh, the Apple Store, or Google Play, Microsoft has a really cool tool to do that, and it's called Visual Studio App Center. And Visual Studio App Center was built with mobile development in mind. So it's got all sorts of tools built in for that. And uh, so I wanna leverage that to distribute my application. I'll probably still use Azure DevOps to build it, but Visual Studio App Center has built in build capabilities. And so just for the sake of getting up and running quickly, I'm gonna use those. So how does that work? Well, it just pulls the code from my GitHub repository and it's gonna build it and then eventually it's gonna distribute it. But I just wanna show real quick what that looks like to pull from my GitHub repo and then build it. So I'll see you after the jump. So we made a bunch of changes in the application. Actually, we just added a bunch of resources. And so I'm gonna show how we uh, make a comment here and it's gonna go into my hello Bronco branch and I'm gonna go ahead and sync that up and push it into my git repository in github so there it goes going through the internet sending all those files very exciting let's see how wow look it can tell already wow that's pretty cool all right so let's just uh, do a pull request here into master uh, bunch of changes nobody cares all right let's do a pull request you know, in a perfect world, we'd be doing a re code review with our coworkers or something like that, but it's just me, so we'll go ahead and just merge it on in. And I already set up Visual Studio App Center. This is Visual Studio App Center. Set it up to uh, start queuing when one does a merge into master or commit into master, either one. So it's queued up. It's going to start building soon. You know, we're waiting for the build agent. It's all abstracted. So, um, look, it's already getting started. But we can look at one that's already done. So this is a build that already is done. It can show all these cool uh, things in the build output. I don't know really how cool uh, build output is, but it shows all the build output stuff. And then when you're done, you can actually download the build, and that's what I did to uh, see if it worked. So I download the build and then I can take that um, app manifest and just upload it to my device. Uh, how do I upload it to my device? Well, 
Um, that's where the handy dandy IoT dashboard comes in because I can open my device portal. And once I uh, open my device por portal, if I go to the apps manager, then I can ch actually choose my file from my uh, downloads and then I can uh, upload it that way and then I'll have it, which is great for my single machine and we're going to talk about distribution later, but I just wanted to show a quick overview of App Center and how you can um, go to your builds and connect it up with GitHub so you can see that these two things are connected, pull down the code automatically whenever there's a merge to a branch and then start building it and then eventually we'll get to the distribution part. Just remember if you have any questions, find me on Twitter at jporcenalic. It's at J-P-O-R-C-E-N-A-L-U-K.